A couple of hours of grinding got me to level 76 agility, which means I can now use the shortcut to access Zolandra if I do some Zolo trips, and it also means that with a plus 5 boost, I can access Cerberus a lot easier in the Taverly dungeon, so I don't have to run around the blue dragons anymore. A long time grind has started in which I want to get favor in all the Zia houses and currently I only have favor in the Arceus and the Hasidius house and with these final volcanic silvers here I got myself 100% favor in the Lovakinch house as well. Next on my Zia list is the Piscalirius house and I have been collecting these last sandworms here and to be fair this was quite an easy method. The beginning was pretty tedious but once I got to these sandworms it was really fast and I got myself 100% favor here and I have to say grinding favor is actually not that hard anymore since you can do the client of Karen quest. So if you guys feel like doing something else for a little while and not struggle with tons of hours of effort to put into it, it is definitely worth doing the um, Karen favor right now because it is double favor with the client of current quest. I'm killing some lizard men right now and it took me about 70% favor before I got my very first talisman here and I'm pretty glad I chose to do this grind because the Xerix talisman is incredibly cheap to fill and it teleports you to really useful locations around Zia and it's definitely something I will use when training Slayer in the catacombs because it can now be on the ancient spellbook and just easily teleport to the heart of Zia. Closing in on 100% favor in the Shazian house right here, and that is all of the current favor gained. I now have 100% in every single house, and I never have to bother about this anymore. And I'm quickly going to lock this, and then it is time to recolor my graceful, which was actually the initial idea of this episode, where I just grind out 76 agility, get myself enough marks, and then recolor the graceful into the white one, because it shows I have done a lot of silly things in RuneScape for almost no reason at all. And, well... I figured it would take me longer and I would get more clips, but it's really boring content to show you guys, so I'm gonna quickly um, change the scenery up and I'm gonna do some new bossing. I'm actually going to hit up Cerberus, and if that doesn't work out, I am going to try and get an Abyssal Demon task to get some Cyber kills. Today is the day something's going to happen that never happened in my history of RuneScape before. I've been playing this game for almost 12 years and I've never been so close. I am level 98 ranged with 8 experience to go to level 99. And with killing this chicken right here, we will get ourselves to level 99 ranged right here. Congratulations, you are now a master of ranged. My very first 99 on this account as well. And we're right next to the ranging guild. So we're quickly going to go in and buy ourselves the cape. Uh, I don't really go for these, like, special events where um, you invite a lot of people to, like, do stuff like this, but I just wanted it for myself. Very first time in 12 years of playing this game that I can finally equip this cape right here. The ranging cape does not look just epic. Uh, it's, it's a great achievement, to be fair. I spent a lot of time in Nightmare Zone trying to get uh, enough experience. I didn't want to do it to Slayer. I just wanted to get the 99 right here. But uh, there we go, master in a skill 99. Look at this cape, beautiful. I do find the uh, trim cape better looking than this one, but that is only 740,000 experience away. And then I can get myself another 99 on this account. So we're pretty close to maxing out, which is fantastic. The very first cape right here, the Cape of Ranged. Cerberus unfortunately used too many of my supplies, so I decided to quit trying to kill it for now and wait until I get myself to level 75 attack, which will probably happen after maxing, and then I can buy myself the bludgeon and try it again. It just seems like it's a lot more doable if you use your bludgeon instead of range, because I use a lot of supplies, I can barely get in one kill before dying, and I still fail too much at trying to pray against the ghost, because it's actually a pretty damn hard mechanic, because I don't have enough prayer points to tank three hits and then Cerberus attacks me as well, so it is kind of tedious. So I'm gonna leave Cerberus right here as it is and I'm going to go and hit up the Abyssal Sire. I tried this boss before but I kept dying on its fourth form over and over again and I finally get the hang of the Sire mechanics now and the goal is to get 50 kill count and then I'll probably finish the rest of the task at the normal Abyssal Demons. Woo! Just hit 50 kill count here at the Abyssal Sire and I managed to get myself a 9 kill trip without banking. So I really got the hang of this boss right now and it's a nice change of scenery and mechanics for people with a high slayer level. And it's really doable on a Zerker Pure as well and the rewards do pay for your used supplies. Although it is not the best money maker and it still takes quite some time to get a kill, about 45 minutes right now. It's still something pretty cool to do on my pure account. It really feels great that I can kill a boss which is like level 85 Slayer as a requirement. 
But with all of that said, this is basically going to wrap up this video. I'm sorry about the non-live commentator parts of this video, but as you can tell, I'm still a little bit ill, and talking is quite exhausting when uh, recording these boss kills, <laughs> since I take up a lot of my concentration, and I just tend to fall over my words over and over and over again. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna leave it as it is. Nonetheless, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Next up will be some more high-end uh, PVMing because I will plan on actually doing some more of these abyssal sire kills because I really want to get myself an unsired and have a chance at getting myself a pet or a bludgeon piece for that matter who knows so um, if you guys enjoyed this video please smash that like button and if you're not already subscribed to the channel please do so as well and I will get you guys in the next episode <laughs>